We're here at Luft headquarters. We have our technician, Jimmy. He's gonna be doing the replacement of the, what do you call this, Jimmy? IRS 31. IRS 31. Walk us through the okay. first of replacement. All, under the screws. Is that a standard or is that a metric um, it's, wrench? It's a standard wrench. Okay. Your telephone. Then all you do is put your screwdriver in, move it about until you feel movement and then you lift the sensor straight out. <laughs> so you take a new seal. Yeah. Just a little, just to get the sun. Smear it, it with silic silicon. And the silicon information is actually found in the manual, so yeah. someone can go out there and actually purchase one. And you just put it in to where it belongs, making sure it's properly in. Connect it up properly, and then all you do drop it in and you should always replace the screws So the replacement of the screws is just to make sure that you have a proper... It's just to make sure that you have good screws because it could be that they've... That After a bit, wear, and, yeah, wear and tear. Yeah, that they're a bit damaged or there's, they're rusty or whatever. Okay. Yeah. And then you then just you tighten it back up? Tighten it back up again. And that's how easy it is. Well, thank you very much. And uh, this concludes our overview video of how to replace an IRS. Just a, a quick one. That yep. is to put it in with two Newton meters. And that's an American product. This is an uh, actual product. It's used to tighten up the screws yeah. to two newton meters. It's a torque wrench. Yeah. So in the final turn, use one of these to make sure that every single one is tied to the proper spec, which is two newton meters. Finished. Thank you.